What's going on guys? Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at an item from Red Rock Outdoor. Uh, and this is the uh, travel duffel bag. So it's a 55 liter uh, duffel bag and it's honestly it's really nice. It's got a uh, decent size and I'll flip it over for you here. There is an option on the back and I actually believe it's in this zipper pocket right here. Yep, there they are. Got this cool option that you can run shoulder straps, use it as a backpack. So you run these down, uh, they got hookups on the bottoms and on the sides here. All you do is just run this around, clip it on, clip this onto one of the little D-links and give you a backpack option. Then it also has a shorter strap option here. So a couple options for you. Let me put these back and then I'll we'll flip the bag back over and actually go over the interior. Just wanted to show you that real quick because for a duffel bag, that's a really sweet option. Um, you don't see too many duffel bags with an option to use it as a backpack. I know like my uh, my rifle bag has that same same option with it. I can use my rifle bag, my double rifle bag that I have is a backpack. And we'll get to a review on that here, hopefully sooner rather than later. Did the reviews on my rifle itself. I think we need to go over the bag next. Uh, but if you actually look at the outside of this bag here, so obviously it's got a grab handle, so you can just pick the whole thing up and run with it. Covered in molly on the outside. Um, your overall construction is 600D polyester. It is 24 inches wide, 11 and a half inches high, and 12 and a half inches deep. You have a main compartment and you have little side compartments. Got a couple things down in this one apparently. So you little side compartments, got some mesh pouches here in the back and then storage there. And I believe you get the same thing on the other side, same exact thing. So you get the mesh pouches and then just a pocket. So that's all you get for the outside. As for storage, other than the fact that you have tons of molly attachments, so if you want to hook molly up to it, you can. It's got compression straps. You can also use them as gear or to secure gear to it. All right, let's get into the main compartment because that's what we all want to see. So the zippers open up so that it folds or opens primarily flat. Um, before we flip it over here, I'll show you the top of the lid. So you do have two mesh pouches, pouches on the top that do have a soft lining in them. So if you do want to put anything delicate like sunglasses or anything like that in there, uh, reading glasses, smart watches, watches in general, phones, you know, you have that padding so it's not going to scratch them up. Open it up and this is your main compartment. So it actually has these two panels here, they are zippered. So if I pull the top up here a little bit, they zipper up the sides and that'll actually hold the bag, one, hold the bag open for us. And two, if you're using it as a duffel bag and not a um, gear bag, I thought about buying one of these for my bunker gear if I started running for the fire department. You can kind of put it all in here, but this cart, this then opens up three compartments and you also get a strap here in the center to strap everything down. I thought there was another strap in here, but I guess not. So it gives you a strap in the center. So even if these are folded down, you can use this to hold everything down as well. Um, so it gives you tons and tons of room. Uh, they say this is supposed to be big enough to use it as a 72 hour bag and I definitely see that. Um, 
when a lot of the riots and stuff were going on there was some talk about it possibly coming this direction we threw a bunch of my son's stuff in here that way if we did have to leave the house for any reason or if we had to go stay somewhere else if they were doing demonstrations here close to home um, and we didn't want to be around it we could easily just grab this entire bag had all my stun all the necessities that my son needed just pick it up and go um, so let's see so like I said there's 55 liters in total um, definitely durable with that 600d um, it's soft but it's it's rugged um, this thing's been thrown around a little bit here in the house and it doesn't even have a snag on it the zippers are great I believe they are ykk zippers i want to say they are red rock makes pretty decent stuff for what i've seen i have another backpack from them so does my wife and i'll get a review on that here hopefully coming up as the weather gets warmer um, color wise you can get it in black coyote dark earth od green and then this is tornado gray now this one here you have to find it's hard to find you almost have to buy it from red rock or ask them where their distributor of the tornado gray is uh, this whole pack is 89 dollars to so 90 bucks you get a really nice 55 liter go bag if you want to call it 72 hour bag um, or just a really nice duffel bag to use for travel. Um, really nothing else that I have to say about it. I mean, this thing holds a ton of stuff. Holds the weight without a problem. If I can get these unzippered here. I'll show you. We'll fold this back down. So the bag will start kind of collapsing as we fold this down. That's okay, because I'll show you here. Once you fold these down, obviously you still have access to that center strap, so you just pull it up before you fold them down. So even if you want just the full open space, the full 55 liters without it being uh, three different compartments, you also have a gear strap. So that makes it nice as well. And then flipper closed. Zipper's got little, uh, you know, it's not paracord, it's just like nylon cord. For poles, you can also switch those out with any of those really nice uh, zipper poles that you see online. And then if you really want it to be compact, hook up your four quick releases on the outside and then pull these tight. They also have an elastic band on them right here so that you can kind of hide away the excess when you pull these down compact it as tight as possible and you get a nice little compact well nice little bag i can't say it's compact it's 55 liters it's a big bag but with those backpack straps or the shorter carry for travel i'd use the backpack if i was using it as a 72 hour bag it definitely makes this thing well worth the ninety dollars that it is all right guys that is all i have for you on the red rock outdoor gear traveler duffel bag if you have any questions definitely drop them in the comments that's all i got for you today later